Welcome back. We're in Vohol's Asteroid Fortress. And we found a janitorial closet. It's quite dark in here. However, you do find a plunger. Well, that might be useful. And I th think that's all. Let's just hope that stupid floor cleaner doesn't get in our way again. Except for some small windows, this area is much like all the other interior sections of the asteroid. How nice. We made it to the other side without getting caught by the robot, which is nice. Um, it's not really uh, health and safety compliant now, is it, to have a floor cleaner robot that kills you if it runs you over. Uh, well, anyway, there's two other floors, four and five, and I'm actually going to go to five mm. first. Why? Because I feel like it. Also, because I have an actual reason for it. Alright, well, there's still dangers of, uh, of floor cleaners here, so I'm just gonna save. Better safe than sorry, after all. You never know if it just happens to show up right when you're at the edge of the screen. Hmm, what's this? No breakthroughs in, in material design to report. It's just one of the many tube life sections of this custom asteroid. Okay. No comment about the panels on the wall. Hmm. This looks... suspicious. The hallways on this level are the same as above, with the exception of some type of cages. An occasional strange noise is heard. The smell here is stifling. Apparently the holding cells are not well kept. There is a door on the side wall. Okay, well, let's uh, check the door first. It's quite dark in here. There's a small waste basket. On the floor next to it is a pair of crusty work overalls. Okay. Aren't you amazed by how much stuff an adventure game hero can carry? You've just got to know how to pack. And get the overalls as well. You pick up the overalls. They are very small and quite worn out, not to mention filthy, and, no u and of no use to you. You toss them back on the floor, and you set them down something falls on the floor. Okay, what is it? You see some filthy overalls, and the lighter. Ooh, a lighter. That could be useful! And, actually, I'm just gonna save over this. You can see this big hands of some kind of creature in the cage, and of course, it kills you. Youch, you feel alarmingly dense. Apparently, you are a prime focal point for some aggression channeling by one of the caged creatures. Your compressed composition indicates that your attacker possesses considerable strength, a good guy to avoid in the future. Of course, you are damaged beyond repair, and the game must end. You've made quite a bit of progress, though. Don't start screwing up now. Okay, well, you can actually get by him. The trick is just to walk at the bottom of the screen. Oh no, one of the cells is opening. Who knows what unspeakable horror waits behind those steel bars? I do. You're not in immediate danger here. Um, keep reusing this save game. I'm gonna let this happen. Hey, it looks, it looks like the alien from Aliens! Oh, yuck! The dark and spiny beast with massive red lips grabs you up. After a longing glance, proceeds, don't read further if the phrase French kiss bothers you, to plant a very moist French kiss on you. You are left quite stunned. Hey, that didn't kill me! And that's peculiar. Now, of course, if you've seen Aliens, you might have some idea of what's going to happen. 
And this is not something you want to let him do. I want to look at it, actually. It's a dark, prehistoric-looking beast with plates covering its body. One outstanding feature is a pair of gigantic red lips. Does what happens if you let this thing kiss you, even though you don't die immediately? Oh, there's another critter there. Um, of course, he won't get killed by it. If you let it kiss you, you will die right at the end of the game. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> right before the end of the game, something will come bursting out of your stomach, which, if you've seen Alien, you might have expected. Another nice thing from Sierra. Making the game unwinnable by something as simple as that. Although, if you've played any Sierra games whatsoever, thinking that you could just get away with being kissed by some weird alien would be a bit naive. Anyway, um, still there's a danger of the floor cleaner, so... We're gonna save again. And there's another door. Made it! There's an automated floor waxer moving down the corridor. The name plaque reads the Toledo Buffmaster, another fine product from Helmet Master Enterprises. Looks sort of like a helmet. Okay, well, what's this closet? It's quite dark in here. On the floor, you notice a glass cutter. Oh, that could be useful. This really is the the height in lazy um, scenery design, isn't it? Just corridors that are all the same. Hey, look, bathrooms. It's another one of those tubular holes. There are two doors. I'm gonna go in the women's bathroom. Ha <laughs> ha! Try and stop me. Wait a second. Both doors end up in the same place! It's a unisex ba bathroom. And from the looks of it, a unisex species bathroom. You have stepped into a porcelain palace of sorts. It is obviously a restroom. A place which, in an interesting fashion, serves to exhibit the physical diversity of the universe. The walls are covered in an easy-to-hose-down synthetic material. Attached to them, in various locations, are devices designed to efficiently collect waste products from the life forms which are able to physically match up to them. On the back wall are stalls. Three of them are in use, judging by the various feet, which show, be uh, sorry, which show beneath the stall doors. To the left are sinks. There's something you can do here, which I don't remember if it actually kills you or not. So, let's just save. Well, Roger Wilco, I guess you'll be paying methane a little more respect in the future. If Mr. Science were here, he would have explained that open flame and high concentrations of methane gas don't mix. Since you're dead, you'd best get to restoring. Okay, it does kill you. I thought it did. Just wasn't sure. And that's why I wanted to go to level 5 first, so I could get the lighter. So I could do this. Alrighty then. Well, let's see if we can actually do something useful here. Like, uh, take a shit. You slide your uniform pants, pants down and settle onto the cool ring. You go through whatever motions might be normal for you during this act. Refreshed, you grab your pants and compose yourself. How nice. Parser is actually quite volatile in what it lets you type to do that. There's numerous options. The inside of the stall is a sight to behold. There's writing of various languages entered on the walls. The floor has an interesting coating of some type of congealed dreck. It appears that the toilet may have been white once. A toilet paper dispenser hangs on one wall. Can we read what's written on the walls? The writing etched on the wall is in various languages. One large message reads... Here I sit lonely hearted, had to bolt, but only darted. Are there more? Yes. T. Ben T. Bendro Heisen. 
Oh, I, I get it. Ha ha ha. Chemistry joke. Was here. Are there only two of them? No. Came in here to unleash the beasts, just to find my coal increased. Fohol sucks! Ain't that right? Do we have all of them? No. Ken was here. So was L, but we had to repaint afterwards. <laughs> Talking, of course, Ken Williams, the owner of Sierra, and L. Lowe, the guy who made Leisure Suit Larry. Uh, uh, Leisure Suit Larry. Sir Graham cross-dresses. Who'd have thought? Sir Graham is, of course, the king from King's Quest. For a good time, call Jerry. Ask for Leonard. Um, okay. Do I want to know? Fohol's mother wears stellar patrol boots. Okay. I guess that's an insult. Fohol sucks. Fohol plays text adventures. Okay, I think we got all of them. Or at least most of them. Well, we'll continue in the next video.